Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Teddy, and I'm an upcoming sophomore. Growing up, I attended SBC with my parents, and I viewed God only as an almighty being who performed grand miracles. When I joined SNY, the events such as movement and the inner city mission trip would grow my desire to build a close relationship with God, but after some time, questions and doubts always seemed to follow. When quarantine started, I struggled spiritually as my desire to pursue God lessened and I focused more on school. Although I would experience some spiritual highs, it would all eventually come right back down to where I was before. Then, towards the end of my year, my family and I flew to Korea to see my grandpa, who was diagnosed with stage 4 pancreatic cancer, and this would be the last chance to ask him if he would like to receive Jesus into his heart. My parents met with a pastor at the hospital and later delivered the incredible news that he had received Jesus. They told me that they told me after my grandpa received him, he slept peacefully laying down, and this was truly a miracle from God, because before, he constantly had to sit upright due to being in so much pain. Hearing this, my heart overflowed with joy and thankfulness for the Lord. I flew back to Houston with a rekindled passion to grow close to with God. This passion continued to burn as I was able to learn so much through PJ sermons. I realized that I had been viewing my purpose and value based on what others thought of me rather than what God thought. Understanding my true identity in Christ completely changed my perspective and made me want to know God even more. I hope to continue to align my values with Christ and see the world through his eyes. I want to thank my ninth grade LDS leaders, Becky and Susan, for leading wonderful discussions being able to hear your testimonies of how God worked in your lives really touched my heart and helped me understand how great our God is. Thank you to Christy for reaching out and helping me during times I've struggled. Thanks for asking me at that one house church if there was anything that was preventing me from going to RJM. My answer to your question helped me realize that the doubts I had no longer had influence on me, which motivated to sign which motivated me to sign up for RJM the following Sunday. Thanks to my super rad house church, you guys never fail to end, to end my Saturdays full of joy. It's such an encouragement and blessing to listen to how God is moving in your lives. And thanks to my adult shepherds, Nathan and Jasmine, for being amazing role models and showing us nothing but love and support. Since receiving Christ and getting baptized, I have this new sense of confidence in knowing my identity and having hope and trust in Christ. Please pray that I will not settle in my faith, but continue striving to have an intimate relationship with God. Thank you.